Okay. Hey, man, the third question, man. So does your past matter in a relationship? Does your past Please? matter in a pre in, in, in a relationship? My sure know how I feel about this. Hell no. The only I mine's an automatic no, bro. Like I feel like my past is my past, your past is your past. Yeah. I wanna know and I tell my sister this too. The only past I wanna know is your birthday. Like at this point, like when is your birthday? Nineteen what? Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> but like I do believe in this like things about your past will unfold itself but that's yeah. the time it needs to unfold itself and that's yeah. the time like um, we use that time to understand the situation and then it helps you understand um, the habit of a person right yeah. so I do get that I do believe in that but at the moment I'm not questioning someone's past at this moment I want to know who you are at this moment at this present time who, who have you overcome what obstacle you overcome to be this person like i want to know that new person right now and everyone loves a clean slate you know what i'm saying so i, I just feel like i don't need anything to potentially taint my eyes about you because something attracted me to you know what i'm saying so i, I just want to keep my eyes on what i see and like as we go forward and i start learning things about the past then i know why certain triggers happen for you and we'll figure that out when that time comes because everything gonna have to come out that scripture is so real bro anything in the dark gonna have to come in the light you know what i'm saying so through that process um you know things gonna happen i bro to this day bro and i don't have to anymore i've never asked for a girl phone number but they always potentially at time come up it's like hey you know We've luckily somehow always met up or whatever, but here's my number. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? I asked for it, but she saw it was fitting. And it was other stuff. Like, things just come out, bro. And it's, it's, as, it's like your bond get closer, and I feel like it's a scrubbing being done inside a person. And the darkness has to come out, or the lightness has to come out. And it's like, oh, okay, well, dang, here we go. We figured that out. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I don't really care for nobody past, bro. I care about now and the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Um, a, a lot of times people um use that to like, like I said, create things in your mind because if you weren't there, let's say for example, we talking about relationships exactly. or whatever, you ask about some past relationships, and they tell you some crazy things of how you know how whatever their previous ex used to do, especially when it comes to like let's say sex or whatever, you weren't there. So she can paint whatever, or he can paint whatever picture, and now you're going to try to live up to that or or trying to do better than that or whatever, or whatever she the, the person says, you're going to you're gonna use it for the now relationship. And now you don't give the now relationship a chance to be anything, you know? So I like what Gibson said with the sense of, okay, if we already have a now relationship, I don't worry about your past. I know who you are now. And then you get to know things later as they come. It's not going to, that doesn't mean the relationship is not going to be good. It's just going to make it even that much stronger because you get to know the person for who they are. And then let's say for whatever reason, um, yep. something happens where it causes a reaction out of the person, right? And then you're like, oh, yeah. the reason why, you know, this, I reacted to that. Yeah, is because, you know, this is what happens to me as a kid or this is what mm -hmm. I've experienced before. So that way not a person knows, okay, I'm not going to try to do that or that. You know, but it's not off rip. You know, I think it blocks you from getting to know who the person is because all you're worrying about is what they used to do in their past. Yeah. Um, you know, all that good stuff, all that bad or good stuff, whatever. You know, let yeah. learn from learn the person for who they are now. And yeah. then, like you said, things will come up, things will rise up. And as they rise up, you have a you discuss it, you talk about it, and you continue to move on. But your mind's not tainted. You give the person um, you know, clean slate, you get a clean slate, you know, and then I'm not saying to hide anything, you know, you're not hiding anything, but at yeah, the same yeah. time, you're presenting things when necessary. Um, instead of just yeah. basically, you can overwhelm somebody. Can you imagine the first date, somebody telling you, like, <laughs> you know, I everything they went through, all the traumas they went through, like at that point, you're like, mm, it's too much for me. I don't know. I don't know if I could, uh, be in this relationship because you went through a lot <laughs> like, right you know so here, 
I mean, but, yeah, on the girl point of view, I had 18 boyfriends. Well, dang, like 18 boyfriends. Uh, <laughs> shoot, they all hit. Um, right, I got a train <laughs> ran on me, like, <laughs> like a bunch of stuff. Not that point, you're like, Stop. oh, no, I don't want to know who you yeah, are. Like, I don't, don't want to know that anymore. Could have been, that could have been potential wifey, but that we will never know. <laughs> that person probably changed. You feel me? Like, they are yeah. a completely different person now. But you, you will never get to know that. I'll, I'll say, like Gibson say, the past is the past. It happened for a reason. You learn from it. But at the same time, you can't dwell in it. You can't live in the present or even wor worry about the future if you just weren't about the past. Like, oh, like the person will never change or something. People change, you know, for the yeah. for the worse, for the better. But people do change. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's 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 the it's it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, one second, one second. No, no you good, you good. But bro, oh, man, yeah. I'm, shoot, I'm glad you, you kind of, you know, opened the door to that that conversation right there because I could I could picture so many people, but especially culture related, Ooh. like that. It's like, oh my gosh, you know, like oh, um, okay, our culture being that you know we're 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 Haitian, we just continue on the conversation. We're not we're Haitian. Like a lot of people are saying, if if somebody has hair. Like, oh, my gosh. So you dating a Haitian girl and you hear, bro, in the past, that would have been a no-no for their parents. That would shut them true. down to you because they re they believe if you have longer hair as a guy, it has a negative thing to it. But it has nothing to do with anything. It's just hair, yeah. you know? So yeah, that's another thing. It's like you, you got to er erase not only just the past, but all these, um um like, notions that you have about somebody, about the culture, or about what certain things. You got to get to know the yeah. person. And then worry about something else. But you know, we won't let Dev keep the thing rolling because he's been yeah. rolling with these questions, you know. <laughs> hey, y'all like killed it. Y'all killed it, man. No, no. <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to ask that question, man, because me, me and me and Michael, we had this conversation. And I agree with Gibson. I don't want to know nothing. I, I don't want to know nothing. I don't want to know about your ex. I don't want to how many. I don't ask like those type of questions. Like I'm, I'm like the military. Don't ask, don't tell. When I ask, don't tell nothing. I ain't ask you how many guys you slept with. I ain't gonna oh, ask, I'm, not, I'm not asking you none of those questions because I don't care to know. Because yeah. once I view you, okay, this is a potential wifey, and I heard you had a train run on you in college. Oh, that's a wrap. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. That's it. I'm not asking no questions. I'm not gonna ask, oh, did you like it? I ain't gonna ask how many guys was it. No, once yeah. I hear it, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. I, I, I don't mean me and Marshall. We had we had this conversation too many damn times, man. Too many. I wish Ninja Mark was here, man. He could have answered it. He, oh he could have answered it, man. You could have answered it. Man. Yeah. Nah, I, I don't want to ask, bro. I'm not asking none of them questions. Every girl that I mess with, I never asked about their ex. I never asked like, yeah. how many guys they was with. I never asked how many guys they sleep with. Oh, did you ever have a threesome? Did you ever do this? Did you ever? I don't, I don't ask those questions, man, because now my ego is gonna get hurt. Bro, I don't even see the benefit of it. I don't no see point. the benefit of it. Yeah, I don't see the benefit. You with me now. Like, that's all that matters. Like, yeah, the only path I know is when... Like, that's the path I want to know. Like, I'm going exactly. to say that one. But, nah, I'm with you on that, bro. Finish line, I ran past it. So egotistic, so cocky, so conceited. Cause I'm better than your average. I'm mad sick when I spit that shit. When I spit that flow, she gon' want to catch my drift. Soon as a nigga gets some money, they try to spit on.